Cisco, I'm going to turn this to you. Um, you just talk a little bit about it, if you don't mind. Sure, and thank you, uh, Khaled, for the option and the opportunity here to to really engage with the audience. It's uh, it's always uh, a good chance to get more of the message out. I think you've stated already some of this, and it's interesting to me that you uh, highlighted the fact that ISP GAMP is um, adopting the principles because we've always referenced that a lot of these principles already exist and they're stated in ISP GAMP. Um, we aren't doing anything new, right? This is all about trying to understand and, and really, uh, you know, the Siemens uh, opportunity and engagement that we had through our case for quality efforts it was an eye-opening event, right? It was something that brought to light from an FDA to FDA that things that we had taken for granted and assumed were happening in the industry were not. This was just not the case, and there were reasons for it that we never addressed. Um, you know, the group that's been engaged on this and the industry group that formed and, uh, you know, Steve was able to bring together to the, to the forefront um, brought a lot of great thought leaders to help keep exposing what are some of those problems, what are the challenges people are experiencing, where is it that the need is for us to provide more clarity, and it's been um, a, a great collaboration and has actually provided a lot of learning for FDA on our end, so um, I thank everybody who's been engaged and involved with that. The outputs and again no matter how much we said you can do this now companies you guys can do this nothing is holding you back um, there was always this hesitancy this fear of application because it wasn't written down in a policy statement which is where we just said okay I hear it we'll figure that piece out we'll figure out how to craft some of this um, in a broader more clear policy statement that would allow this kind of flexibility and adaptability that we're talking about to take place. Um, we engaged and luckily, several of the same partners who have been working with us took those first steps forward and put uh, you know, their skin on the line to test this out and give us the results because that data is what we needed to be able to push this forward and say, look, this is important, this makes an impact. Um, this gets attention and it is now on our A-list guidances to try to, to get out this year. It has priority, it's still moving. Um, I, I do want to caveat that the certain situation that we're all dealing with, the pandemic everybody is uh, really trying to manage right now, does have an impact, right? The priority for the agency is on getting out a lot of these um, emergency use authorizations, other guidances that would help deal with the current crisis. So there is a, an impact, but it's not losing traction, it's not losing sight of the intended goal. So it is still where we are moving, where we are pushing, and what we are trying to, to bring to the table. Great, thank you, Cisco. And I um, uh, just want to bring your attention a little bit to what the title of, um, uh, of the guidance is. It's Computer Software Assurance for Manufacturing, Operations, and Quality Systems. So a lot of the questions that I know it's going to come up, well, I have this kind of, this system, does it work? Can I apply CSA? You can apply CSA. We'll get to that with Stephen when he starts talking about it. 